Okay, welcome back to Shannon's Plants Planting Time. How are you today? I have been totally MIA because my kitchen flooded and I've been doing a lot of housework. And when I mean a lot of housework, I mean like completely redoing the kitchen and painting and all that. So, not fun, not a good time, and uh, not enjoying my plants. So, anyway, today I want to talk, again, I've done a video on this one time, but I want to talk about the Mexican butterwort, or also known as a pinguicula, or ping for short. Now, they are known as fungus gnat catchers because they have these uh, succulent type leaves that have a sticky mucus coating that trap fungus gnats and they stick to their leaves so I will show you mine. Let me get them. Mine, mine is covered in fungus gnats. So here he is, and you can see I'm having a little bit of a fungus gnat problem right now, or if I weren't, he would not be absolutely covered in fungus gnats. I'm so scared my resident frog is going to jump out at me because he lives in this pot. But anyway, this is my pinuicula. You can see he is in flower. He is in bloom. He has four flowers. This one's on its way out. That one kind of is two. These two are new. They shoot these flowers way up high like this from the plant so that the pollinators don't get stuck in the mucosal secretions that it secretes. What happens is the gnat lands on the leaves. The leaves are pretty sticky anyway and as the gnat struggles or other bug struggles it uh, causes the plant to release uh, digestive enzymes and therefore consume the plant and feed the plant. So it is a carnivorous plant. It's considered a carnivorous plant. And uh, mine is a Mexican better word, meaning that it enjoys more tropical-like conditions. So I'll talk about what like my ping likes. He likes to be one in my windowsill. I have a north facing window and he has seemed to be very happy in there all summer. And he so he likes bright and direct light. He doesn't ever like to dry out. He lives in a very boggy area that is nutrient poor. So you don't fertilize these guys and they prefer rainwater. However, I have been using distilled uh, Brita water in the can from the grocery store and I have him in a tray and I just keep him like this. If he does soak up all the water, then I might let him go a day and then I, I re, re uh, supply his water because the increased humidity and stuff helps him get the sticky leaves. Without humidity and stuff like that, then his leaves won't be sticky and he won't do his job. So anyway, as far as soil goes, I have personally not repotted my pinuicula, but I read that they like the Mexican butterworts and you have to determine what kind yours is because if you have a uh, butterwort that is from a chilly climate then you need to adjust accordingly but mine likes equal parts of one part peat one part sand one part vermiculite and one part perlite so when he quits blooming and uh, when he goes dormant for the winter I don't know I'll probably repot him in the spring so, um, I also read they do go dormant in the winter, and you can tell that they're trying to go dormant 
And I have another example. This is my fiance's butterwort. You see how his is uh, forming a more closely tight rosette that is uh, more like a succulent? Well, they say, I read, and uh, it is said that uh, this means they are ready to go dormant and thus you need to reduce water and let them dry out for the winter. So, I find them very easy to care for. I've only, I only got them this spring, so I've only had them spring and summer. I haven't gone through a winter with them, but, um, anyway, other than them letting them dry out, I don't know that winter care is that much different, but mine has been really easy this summer. Uh, he just sits in my windowsill and I pretty much never let him dry out and he catches a lot of gnats for me so and like I said I have a resident frog who lives in there because what other great place could you be if you were a frog so anyway um thanks for tuning in today I'm sorry I gotta get back into the swing of things because it's been like I don't know a week or something I haven't done a video so, uh, please follow me on Instagram. I'm going to announce the winner of my giveaway on Instagram here in a little bit. And we'll get that done. But follow me at Shannon Collier 26 on Instagram. And other than that, please like and subscribe. And other than that, I hope to see you in the next houseplant video. Bye!